Hi, my name is Lawrence Fantor, driver of the Porsche GT team, and I will now take you on a ride around the Daytona International Speedway. We are in the car with my teammate Jean-Maria Bruni, who is still in the pit lane, just about to get out for his first lap. Daytona is a very special track, because it's the only race where we drive a combination of a normal track and an oval, which has steep turns with an incredible banking of 31 degrees. Also, it's very special because the 24 hour race of Daytona is held in winter time. For us, this means that more of the race is held by night than at day. To keep the cars dependent on their headlights, the lighting system of the track is limited to 20% of the maximum output. So, we are now out on track, passing the so called Porsche Platz on the left, where we are overtaking some traffic which is a very big part of this race. We rarely do a lap completely by ourselves because there are so many competitors in different classes which makes a big part of the speed we have in the race. We're approaching the last corner of the infield and after we go out on the incredible oval. First time you go on the oval, it's quite special. It's a strange feeling because you're, like we said, 31 degrees sideways. Uh, it's a bit strange the first time, but you get used to it quite quickly. So we always have to work with other cars, slower and quicker cars, judge it, overtaking, judging the risk. It's not easy, but it's a very big part of endurance racing. General rule on the oval is slow is low, so when quick cars are approaching we stay on the low side. Now a chance for the last checks for Jimmy to check the car, his tire pressures, talk to the team, have a last drink before he goes out on his flying lap. So now we go for our first quick lap. First up is corner one. It's the best overtaking opportunity of the track, but very difficult braking as we come down from the oval into the corner. Second gear, going close to the inside wall, after we have a quick uh, right-left combination, which is easy flat. Afterwards, we approach the International Horseshoe. Slowest corner of the track, first gear, very wide corner, but we stay on the inside because there is the most of the grip. Good exit, there's a small straight after to gain some time. We go on, a bit of a straight, approaching Porsche Platz, which is uh, quite an easy left-hand corner. We stay in the middle for braking for the next corner, which is a very long corner, so we have to brake very deep in, second gear, carry some speed, go wide, very bumpy exit curb, and now we approach the last corner of the infield, it's all about the exit here to carry all the speed on the oval, very bumpy, so not so easy to do. Now we are on the first part of the oval, we have a bit of time here to, to check all the systems, talk to the team. So now we will approach the last corner of the track, one of the most critical corners to bust up. Brake very late around 1, go down in 4th gear, carry as much as speed possible to the left side, but go on full power as quick as you can. All the speed you carry here on the exit is speed you will gain for the whole straight afterwards. From now on the track is done, let's pedal to the metal and just wait until the finish line. Hope for a car in front of you that we have some slipstream which is easy time gained. We can gain over half a second just by having some cars in front of us. This was a lap around Daytona International Speedway. I hope you enjoyed. We enjoy it a lot. We do around 650 of them, so we know it quite well.